Dove's paintings that Root collected are abstractions based on things that Dove experienced in nature. And through the forms and the colors, we see or are, I think, invited to contemplate orchards, foliage, summertime experiences walking in a forest or near the water. And it's interesting that even though stylistically the paintings of Birchfield and Dove might seem very different, at their essence, they're very similar. And that, I think, is what Edward Root responded to. Now, Dove, of course, grew up in Geneva, went to school at Cornell. So Western Central New York are part of his heritage. And then as an adult, he lived on Long Island. He's one of the first to paint non-representational compositions. At the same time, Kandinsky in Europe was experimenting with paintings of no visible subject matter. Arthur Dove was doing the same thing in the United States. And that ties directly into the New York school, that the paintings that they created, they wanted to be what they considered non-literary, that they were objects unto themselves with their own inherent reality, and that they shouldn't have any kind of extra reference that they shouldn't allude to something one read, even though they might have been inspired by natural phenomena, by current events, music, etc., that these ultimately become objects. And I think that Dove was certainly an important precursor to that idea and conception. I think it might be um, a way to create an experience of reality that isn't a picture of that experience. Arthur Duff later, retrospectively, was celebrated by art historians as um, doing what the abstract expressionists were doing or leading the way, even though it wasn't necessarily that they were looking at Arthur Duff paintings, but that in his own way he was finding his way as an artist of abstract form the way they did a generation or two later.